Hello tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball. So, we will see our strongest fleet in action now. The Daedalus has jumped into the system of Helios Alpha. As we can see we are in big trouble here. But firstly we need to help this freighter. The first one we could in a grand battle against seven ships uh, rescue and well the Cylons did not so much as scratch our pains yeah I'm a bit surprised there but I think we, are, we got pretty lucky that uh, no torpedo hit and uh, we could take out their radar squadrons very very nicely um, so it can happen like that as well right so and now it's the Daedalus time Let's see what the situation about the second freighter is. And then we'll see if uh, it was worth it to rush everything and to jump around so quickly. So, we, uh, we only have four. Oh, and there's the freighter. Okay, we only have four contacts on the Dreadus. That is very suspicious. That is very suspicious indeed. But we have as many frigates as ever. Yeah. So you guys, yeah, let's fly there. So I feel Like we should actually, yeah, let's have you guys, let's have two double packs, two double frigate formations. Upper one can go a little bit more like this, that's good. And then we will have them on both sides of the freighter. I think like this. It could mean though that these guys have some bigger ships. But I think we need to uh, we need sh to show some more presence and force here now that there are only four ships getting getting our weapons into effective range as quickly as possible. Let's do it like this. These guys will fly on the left and they on the right side of the freighter. Freighter will go straight towards and behind the Daedalus. Yeah, and our Corvette will do some distraction and play. Yeah, let's have only Vipers. Yeah, it, do it does not seem. So, thanks for the tip that uh, around the Daedalus um, apparently it doesn't cost anything with the Vipers, right? To deploy them, so can do that. But I feel actually um, defensive tactical tra- uh, Ah yeah, that's the chef now, we don't need that. Although we don't know what kind of ships we face. But maybe let's have a Raptor because then we can board Let's board them and yeah, but I think like the guided missiles will do nicely. The Elkhorn. I think that's fine. So we have so many missiles in the air that uh, I think that's just sufficient. So let's proceed like, th like so. Everyone jump in. Helena, would you be so Prepare kind? To jump in three, two, one. Thank you. Very nice. Jumping in in force. What a surprise, right? They must be terrified. Contact with objective. Civilian IFF confirmed. Hostiles are also in the zone. Thank you, Helena. And there we go. Let's light them up. What does the Dreadus say? 
Yeah. So far, no nasty surprises. So the freighter, get get moving, guys. Yeah, and fly li like as Understood. high as you can, maybe. While you fly like so. Also getting as high as possible. Launching Understood. all squadrons. Corvette. Ah, yeah, very good. So we can actually fly like this and going. Oh no, actually, oh, let's fly like like this. Going lower, then we can shoot at them because they're already in the uh, detection range. The Ranger. Well, how was it? They have shot. Uh, they have forward cannons, right? Yeah, these two forward cannons. Oh, and they have actually two on the bottom as well. Ah, oh, yeah, but the thing is, yeah, yeah, we, d we this ship design doesn't have any on the top, which means we want to be above the enemy, which is actually a good addition because our uh, little battle star usually wants to be below the enemy. Focusing fire on this one. Launching all squadrons. Yes, sir. You guys. Going full attack already. So say like we all. Like this. Focusing fire on that one. Launching yes, sir. all squadrons. Did you guys launch your squadrons? Yeah, there's the warning symbol. Fighters come out. Yeah, and well, you guys. Yeah, you can actually fly there. Our our bottom is uh, less armored though, so it doesn't make much sense in my opinion, like this ship design. If the cannons, our batteries are on the lower side, then we usually wanna try to be above the enemy, which means that the bottom should be heavily, uh, more heavily armored, but well, anyway. So that's this, everybody started their Vipers, that's good. You guys did that as well, right? Did you or did you? Okay, now. Well then, so let's end the turn. Very good. Many, many Vipers. We do have two, four, six squadrons in, in space right now. Okay then, oh, and by the way, I forgot about uh, the Daedalus as well. Daedalus has squadrons as well, right? I am inclined to use these only defensively because just four ships is kind of suspicious. But maybe I'm just getting paranoid now. You guys fly like so, going low, shooting at this one and firing your missiles. If we are lucky, they haven't even identified us. So let's stay out of range right now. Like this. So say we all. Shooting all missiles. They should be terrified that so many missiles will come in. If an artificial intelligence can be terrified, that is. So you guys go there, focus fire on this one. Firing your missiles. You guys as well. Although, yeah, it wouldn't probably hurt to identify some more, right? But no, it's fine. So you guys can shoot them as well. Yeah, let's stay defensive with them. You lose more height. Focusing fire, shooting. Yeah, we are in full attack mode. You guys. Yeah, better not expose yourselves too much. Yes, sir. Going full attack on this one as well. And yeah, yeah, let's shoot the missiles as well. So that's really a lot of missiles against one ship. But I guess after that we can concentrate on the other ships. Which means the Raptor moves forward like so. 
I wonder if the raptor actually has a longer range um, for identification. Oh, and by the way, uh, actually, I think that that we should have uh, the lancer as bait. So come on, play lame duck, because we have so many. Vipers that we can actually do a very nice defensive formation for the Lancer. You guys also defend the Lancer. Defend the Lancer. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. Eps, what's that? No. There, like this, All right? Yeah. So everybody has their orders, right? Or do they? You guys also defend the Lancer. So I guess the only the only ship that that they can shoot missiles at possibly uh, would be the Lancer. All right then. So let's end the turn. Hostile unit identified. Okay, that's a really weak. That's a really weak uh, enemy force. Yeah, you guys can just stay put. Because I guess that's a Talon over there. You guys fired that one. Actually, how's the coverage yeah yeah let's get this one so you go for that one as well freighter going a little bit erratic Again, you guys going lower just in case you guys shoot at this one and you go for that one. Well, you guys now do this move and shoot at that one. So, and we've got a lot of. Uh, ships in the air. You guys fire your rockets. Missiles on their way. And I think, yeah, you can actually attack this one. Understood. So three Vipers should be enough, right? Okay, then. That's that. Let's not crash into the Daedalus. On it, Commander. And the Daedalus does have two Vipers, so let's have one defensive for the freighter, just in case. And the other one defensive for the Daedalus. And the Daedalus, by the way, can go defensive as well. So, Radius, no, just four boogies. Okay then, yeah. So I guess these missiles should be able to destroy this, this uh, nemesis now, right? And I guess this is a Talon. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, oh, but they, okay, yeah. Okay, very good, very fire good. Concentrated anti-missile fire. Okay, we do have... Oh yeah, oh oh, the Raptor. Well, the, the Raptor... Uh, oh, the Raptor doesn't look good right now. But you guys can board. Let's board the Talon. Yeah. 
you guys attack the raiders. Yeah, and I mean, two squadrons in a defensive role should be sufficient, right? And you guys go for those raiders as well. And our capital ships can finish the job here, I think. We don't need any vipers right now. You guys fly there. Go full offensive. Let's shoot at that one. Although it's a bit far away. You guys go for that one because this one is closer. You fly like so. Or maybe actually let's make it easy for the vipers. Let's fly relatively straight ahead. Yeah. And then we can actually shoot at this one. Artemis moves in. Shoots at that one. And the Alcorn Yes, Goes in like so and shoots that one as well. Oh yeah, and yeah, let's shoot the missiles. The others should have like two turns, yeah. Alright, ending the turn. Oh come on guys, we were two squadrons. Yeah, but they are under heavy fire now. Excellent. Oh yeah, very good. Yeah. Double or like a quad, quad element. Uh, barrage. Yeah, you guys should not crash into the Daedalus. Let's fly around. Dreadus doesn't say anything. No, it's fine. Yeah, you guys ate some missiles, but it's fine. Let's turn around like so. Shoot this one, I well. Now let's uh, let's actually fly around like this. On it, commander. And go for that one. You guys lean in a bit. On it, commander. Going for that nemesis. Shoot your missiles. Did I miss something? No. Yes, Commander. You guys shooting like so. Now you guys go there. You guys lean in. Oh yeah, well, no, he's, he's gone. So say we all. And you go for the tail on all right and these three squadrons so we outnumber them pretty significantly all right so that's it ending the turn yeah. so one is gone excellent yeah concentrated fire oh well actually i thought they this one would die already. So you guys On it, Commander. Like so. I wonder if this is a dead angle or something. Let's go like this. Shoot him from the top, you guys. Squadron target is confirmed. That one as well. not crash into it on it commander now let's make sure that no missiles fly our way and in our, into our direction now you guys go offensive too. focus fire shoot your missiles you guys lean in 
Focusing fire, shooting missiles on the Talon. Yeah, so we are overwhelming them significantly here. Focusing fire, missiles. All right, ending the turn. Very good. Yeah, they they came close. There was actually I think they wanted to ram us. I think they they wanted to ram us. On it, Commander. So now we punch some holes into the Talon. All Vipers. You guys do an evasive maneuver. Like this. Oh yeah, lots of missiles coming in. Yeah, and you guys already target the Talon, so it should be fine anyway. All right. Yeah, we are overpowering them very much right now. You guys shoot there as well. All right. That looks pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Squadron has gone dark. What? Why? Where? Oh, they, they were... Our squadron just flew into their broadside, Commander, I guess. Commander, yeah? multiple new Dreadus contacts. Oh, well, I had the feeling. I had a feeling like that. So where are they? Those are just rogue missiles. Helena, I think you need new glasses. Multiple means more than one. And I think I see only one. Yeah. Okay. So those vipers stay there. The Daedalus can actually start shooting, but I think it's not in range anyway. But they jumped in very nicely from behind. Fire control has been hacked. You guys. Oh, it's a Serastus. I thought it, it looked like a Nemesis, so it's another Serastus. That's the point defense. So we are we should rather keep our uh, vipers away from it. Yeah. Oh, they have they have actually four turrets uh, in the front and six on the broad side, but none above and none on the bottom as far as I can see. Okay, interesting. Interesting ship design. Yeah, but we have we have the upper hand here. So Hardball's fist turning around. Shooting missiles. The Manticore. And I can actually no and just shoot its uh, rear turret. On it, Commander. I wonder if the point defense can actually shoot down missiles. But I guess we'll find out. Yeah, and you guys, you start to boost. And I'm not sure if this thing can shoot missiles, but I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, let's let's keep the uh, the vipers clear of it, right? I oh, know you guys are fine over there. Yeah, no, sorry, you guys. Yeah, let's recall. Recalling them. squadron. Calling them. We don't need them right now.
and then we'll we'll tempt them to use their missiles if they have any. Okay then, and turn. Yeah. Full artillery barrage. Yeah, these shots should just bounce off the armor. Is the Daedalus actually firing? No, not really right. Coming in and about. Yeah, now all the missiles will come in. Well, let's have you guys first. Okay. Well, Vipers uh, landed pretty quickly. But I think they knew that, uh, or they heard that there is a lot of pointy fans in space right now. Uh, very good. All well, the missiles coming in. It doesn't look like the, uh, as if uh, their pointy fans can actually take down the missiles. Oh, and they are actually pounding the Manticore. Oh yeah, but they are gone. Okay. Uh, Okay, I think we need to spread out. So it appears there are yeah. Then System you guys repairs can start underway. Repair, uh, can start repairing the fire controls. On it, commander. Let's spread out a little bit. You guys boost, and then we launch the squadrons. The pilots had enough time to have a, a beer. And the casino launching all squadrons. You guys fly around like so. And the freighter probably should actually stay close to the Daedalus. This squadron can also defend the colonial freighter now. We actually we have. Uh, 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 I should have kept it closer to the Daedalus. It just flew away. Let's hope that wasn't a mistake. Good, that one is down. But I feel I have the feeling that uh, something else will show up. Besides, otherwise the mission would be over. Sir, we've got a new Dreadus contact. Ah, uh, yeah. But this... Helena! Those are two. Not a con contact. My goodness, what's going on? Well, she was... Uh, she jumped into the casino with the pilots, it appears, right? So say we all. And she's seeing double now. Or a uh, single singular okay that's actually really bad they are just uh, coming right right where the these guys are uh, so you can identify everything you guys need to boost ahead on it commander that's actually a very bad situation right now. Oh, yeah, okay. No, of course we wanna repair. Okay, and then you guys, you boost also. Going so. Going in like this. And so, all right, so then all these lo uh, squadrons. We 
We need to go more offensive now. Let's have four Viper squadrons go for this one. Understood. And that one for this one. Okay. Let's hope they don't shoot any missiles at the freighter. And the freighter should actually... Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is probably for the best like this. Understood. All right, let's hope they don't get to the freighter. Oh, it's a tail on. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Missiles oh, no, 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 no. Oh, very good. Oh, my goodness. That was a close call. Thanks to our drunken piloting. So let's fly like so. Good thing is... These guys can now go for them, right? Maybe they should actually go for the radar. No, you you attack the, this one. Any repairs? We need the fire control online right now. Shooting missiles. Focusing fire on that one. And by the way, let's do the attack mode. Oh, well, we are way out of range anyway. So let's boost forward. Yes, Commander. Same goes for you guys, but we will shoot at least our missiles. And I think we should be way out of range. Yeah, you guys boost ahead as well, like so. Shooting missiles there. And you can also boost. Shooting your missiles there. Focusing fire on that one. You guys go for the nemesis. guys go for the radar as do you understood all right the battalion is boosting in but we can actually draw the fire away from the freighter that's good oh no these guys they go very good very good, the freighter jumped away, excellent. And now suddenly, the Cylons are exposed. Now let's have you guys actually attack the radar. Here we go, offensive. Shooting the stations, huge mass drivers and other weapons. Yes, sir. Lancer needs to be offensive as well. Okay, a lot of missiles come in, so I guess you guys can shoot at the Talon. I'm a bit surprised that we still have missiles to go to shoot. But I guess it's fine. Focus fire there. Yeah, well, you guys are not... Yes, Commander. ...getting forward further. Okay, then. So, I guess... And you guys... Go for the Talon. Try to present your broadsides. Okay. So these three Vipers go for the Raiders and these two also go for the Nemesis. Okay, ending plan, uh, ending turn. 
because we don't want them to shoot any missiles, right? Oh, they are our... They, oh! I think, did we lose one of our squadrons? Looks like it, right? They flew just into the broadside. This one will be gone soon. But let's keep shooting at it. Frigate. Presenting broadside and actually going offensive now. Yeah, I think that's fine and sufficient. But let's shoot at this one. And shoot. Uh. No. Don't want to have a, a traffic accident. So, that's that. Ending the turn. Massive fire on the tailing. But it is sturdy and will hold on for uh, hold on for a while. Let's go like this. the next missiles from Hardball's fist and the dread is only has the rope missiles on screen all right so all looks good understood shooting there ending turn yeah now we should just chew through them, right? Yeah, that looks good. All right. No, they have, they still have survived. Okay. I'm a bit disappointed with the Vipers now. But I guess they are not as elite, you, uh, the same elite level of uh, pilots as with the other fleet. <clears throat> so you get a shot as well. But I think that's fine now. So no collisions, everything's fine. Any turn, I'm just making it easy now. Good, all right. It was just a matter of two seconds. Okay, and that looks good, I all guess. All hostiles yeah. are down. Civilian is free to move. Excellent, thanks, Helena. Oh yeah, and Hardball's Fist is now experienced, that's good. The Alcon is still full of yeah, rookies. But we are getting there, right? So, these two have a veteran status now. Yeah, we actually, we haven't done so much fighting here, but it's fine. So, let's jump in. Let's look. It's very nice nebulas. Oh, better not, not crash into your mothership, your carrier. Very good. It was actually a pretty good thing to identify them so early. But that's just thanks to the elite status, I think. Thanks to the plus seven uh, defensive bonus. Alright, so they are under heavy pressure. Looks pretty good. More missiles even coming in, so that's pretty much an overkill. A better safe than sorry. That's the noises. And something jumped. Oh, so that was a nice view, an interesting view. Like from inside the tail, I guess, huh? Okay, yeah. Yeah. 
bad that that doesn't uh, didn't work, but uh, yeah, we can imagine. That would, say, uh, that would actually be pretty cool. But, yeah, there are suddenly Celeste jumping in and pounding our armor with its uh, point defense. Yeah, but it jumped like right on top of our feet. So we could actually react nicely. doesn't hold long so just a moment to take some breath and then bad news is following up your mother tail and jumps in and nemesis that is trying to shoot their torpedoes yeah but thanks to the drunken panda tactic in regard to our flying uh, these torpedoes didn't fit Which I'm pretty self-satisfied right now, I have to admit. But the Vipers got out of the way for the missiles to hit. And now we can concentrate on the Talon. That is, that was a pretty nasty situation though. Um, you know, that there were Silence jumping in on the other side of the Daedalus. But I made a mistake as well, because I should have kept the freighter closer to the Daedalus. Alright, that's where our Vipers land. Go back home. Alright, that was a nice one I think. That was pretty cool. And I like it that the Celestis was there. Okay then, we can postpone this one. Yeah, that's the situation. Or oh, another one. What's that? Espionage. It's a strike fleet. Okay. Yeah, well, but we'll check these ones out in the next episode. Strike fleet. That sounds actually pretty problematic. And quoting one of our friends on the community saying that this is a red forest here. Indeed, it looks like a red forest right now in Helios Alpha. But now we are here and we will be able to do something about them, right? Oh yeah, and here... Oh yeah, we can do actually a pretty nice... A pretty nice fleet with these frigates here. They are all frigates, right? Yeah, okay. So then... But what happens next? We will see in the next episode. Oh, Caprica is concerned now. They are, they are, I mean, they are under massive pressure and under siege by four Cylon fleets. Oh yeah, this one here. Oh, Cylon Command, Cylon Elite. Oh, that's interesting. That one, okay, interesting. Yeah. Well. But we'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. Please do share your thoughts. That was uh, like the last mission. We got pretty lucky that none of these torpedoes hit. Um, yeah, but we'll see. So, if we can keep on the good drunken panda flying tactic. So, again, thanks for watching. I would appreciate if you click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you never ever miss an episode again and see what we do with nearly 5,000 Tillium now. See you next time. Bye-bye.